are you changing jobs are you looking for a job are you looking for a good company oh are you looking for a good manpower company from your country be aware of fake manpower companies be aware of fake companies in Qatar. right now it is a season a peak season of the fifa world cup qatar a lot of opportunities are available in security job cleaning jobs and all other types of jobs it is the time for those companies fake companies to make a deal out of you tune into this video until the end as you try to get more information and how you can go about with this so that you do not get up disappointed in one way hey guys welcome back to this channel it's Max from the Max creation thank you so much for supporting this channel and thank you so much for tuning in and watching videos to this channel by the way if you've not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing support this channel by subscribing to this channel let us try to share the information together let us try to share the information all so that we can all grow in good opportunities by the way did you know that the fake companies in Qatar, the fake manpower companies that are dealing with fake companies in your home country did you know that there are fake companies within Qatar also in this guise of recruiting on this guise of giving you bigger opportunities or give giving you bigger money at the end of it all you get disappointed thank you so much for coming back to this channel by the way if you're new to this channel consider sub subscribing support this channel by only pressing the subscribe button and also pressing the notification bell you'll be the uh, first to be updated when we are uploading a new video right now i want to share with you say you know it is fifa world cup in Qatar, 2022 it has always been a countdown from since the bid was got until now this is the year there are a lot of opportunities around with the companies bigger companies smaller companies and even those companies that think it is the right time for them to cheat. It's the right time, the opportunity to cheat. This is what happens. You should be aware. Yes, sometimes we are so desperate to look for a job. And we need, indeed, we need to look for that job that is going to give us some good amount of money, better than what we receive in our home country, to better off our families, to better up our families, to look after our old mothers and fathers who cannot work anymore. But again, in the pursuit of a better life or in the pursuit of this opportunity, you must be a little bit very careful and updated on what is happening or what you need to know at a time. We know most of you come by what we call recruitment companies from your home country. When you talk about the manpower companies or recruitment agencies, most of you know what I'm talking about. People are coming from Asia, people are coming from um, Africa, you know what I'm talking about. Unscriptious companies have ended up cheating people, deprived of their opportunity in one way or the other. Why? Because they are not genuine. They are trying to corroborate, they are trying to work with other companies outside here to make sure they can steal people. You end up promised a visa, it's really even while take a, a full year without you getting a visa. So you get up disappointed, you get up portrayed in one way or the other, and you end up regretting why you had to put in whatever money that you have at a time or in a given period of time. So, this is what I'm telling you. Let's first of all look at the recruitment companies from your country. Most of you, you have those companies. But I politely ask you that if you know you're going to use a recruitment company coming from your country, make sure you try to do some thorough research. 
to that recruitment company. If you have a friend away who is coming in Qatar, who is already living in Qatar, try to tell him, try to give him an, an engagement. Try to, try to tell that person to help you out, to find out if there is anyone that has ever come with that company. Is ever anyone has ever recruited and successfully come to Qatar with that same company. And now what were the requirements? That is the best way to have what was the requirements and how much did you pay in case you had to put in what we call an input for that case. That is how better you will find out that information. Still on the same note, most of us have been issued what we call visas. We've been issued with what we call visas. But what I have to let you know that yes, you have that visa. That visa is sent to you by that recruitment company. You can as well check that visa online. You can check the generality of that visa. How do you check? Something that I need to let you know with these countries. Everything is just done in the, such a way that you can access everything in a digital format. You can access everything digitally. You can have all the information. Go online. Check the government website. Check that visa. If it is surely a very genuine visa. If it is a visa issued to you and is genuine, definitely, with no note, it will show you the visa is genuine. Avoid such kind of loopholes that these people are using to deprive us what we've worked for or what we, 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 we are planning, distorting our plans in one way or the other. Most of you, check out in this channel. Check out Max Creation. Go to that channel. There is a lot of that information where you can try to check for that information one way or the other. This is pretty what exactly that we are talking about. This is the information that is, is we are sharing to help us grow in one way or the other. Still, something that we need to note right now, there are a lot of opportunities that may be given, a lot of opportunities may talk about. Yes, what kind of job are you going to do? Find out if it is at a company that is so so and this is so so this company please go on the google website go try to check for that company try to look out what is that company all about yes you may hear the name it may be someone's website all right but it's not a genuine company try to get such kind of information before you get to regret why you injected in your money why you will come and cry why you will come and cry is one way or the other. Still something that I need to let for the people who are, are those that are living in Qatar, those are living within the country. Did you know or are you aware there is some fake companies that are being closed by the government in the pretext of issuing what you call free visas, in issuing of what we call in the pretext of giving offers at one way or the other? And this is exactly what we are talking about this is what has happened they've tried to close up some companies so what i'm telling you yes there is what we call change noc change of new jobs change of new opportunities you divert and change that kind of work but what i have to let you know still research about that company you are in the country you have a bigger opportunity than someone who is living outside this country take that opportunity Take that little time that you use on the Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi that you have when you're talking on WhatsApp. Take this opportunity. Research about this company. Yes, I'm going to transfer from one company to another. Yes, there may be a very good offer that is even better than the offer that you have in that company. But be a little bit very careful. Because what happens with Qatar here is that you will need what we call a resident permit. You will need what we call a Qatar ID. And when we talk about a residence permit in one way or the other, for you to have a residence permit, it's not going to take you months. It does not take you months. For example, if you are changing from one job to another and you already have an ID with you, it's not going to take you a couple of six months like you're on probation, like you're someone coming from out. No, it's just a few weeks away from when you change and you're accepted in a new company. But what is happening? Some companies have given people offers for the first month, they'll give you that money. You'll get excited. You'll have that excitement at the time. But again, 
after a given period of time. These guys do not issue you with what we call a cut ID. They do not issue with a cut ID. Remember, already you crossed up to the old company. You already taken out your ID with the old company and you're in a new company. So imagine a situation whereby you are left in the middle, all right? You are left in the middle. You cannot go back to the old company and you're here in this other company. But after three months, four months, you are not issued with a cut ID. What will happen in case this company does not pay you or in case this company is not going to pay you or in case of unscription asset in one way or the other, if, even if you wake up to go and complain or to, uh, complain about this company, you, you never get it out because you don't have something that to prove of yourself that you're part of that company. Even if you go to the labor court, they're not going to help you out. First of all, you need to have what you call a residence permit. You need to have what you call a cut ID. This is the only document that shows you you are part of that company because it's going to give you all your full details. So, what I'm, I'm, I want to let you, my, my, my fellow countrymen, my, my fellow youth, or my fellow people, or all people that came to hustle, all people that came to look for the bigger opportunity, you should be a little bit very careful. You should be very, very careful as we are trying as we are trying to look for better means for ourselves or you, as you're trying to look for a better means of of survival it doesn't matter how much money you put in as you coming doesn't matter i know some companies will ask a lot of money they'll ask but it's what is the generality of it all uh, of what you get have you got that job have you got that opportunity that you look for is that opportunity genuine is it a very good company and that is what i want to share with you i got so touched by one of uh, uh, one of the subscribers he was telling me that he already has a visa with him he has a visa with him is already outside the country. He has a visa with him, but he, he did not be provided with a ticket by the manpower company. I tried to ask him for his passport. I tried to ask him for his passport to try to check out the visa online. But the visa is not in the system. But in the pretext that he already has the visa with him. I didn't want to share the details of the person, but I was so touched. And this is why I'm coming out to try to let you guys know that these things do happen. They don't do happen just because we want them to happen, but they do happen because we are not aware. We don't want to, sh to get such, such kind of information. We don't want to listen to such kind of information. Checking the visa with the system here, the visa is not there. And the visa is showing him by, by the, partner, the recruitment company agency that issued him is saying the visa is even expiring on the 14th of February of this coming month. And the visa is not in the system. It's not in the Qatar system. He has no ticket. He has already been deprived of his money. That is an input of an equivalent of uh, 4,000 Qatar reals. Imagine to some countries or to some areas that is a given piece of land that you can have but he has been deprived of that money and you know is left in kind of an attitude that is, is he doesn't know what to do he doesn't know what to do he's trying to call the agent he's trying to talk to the agent the agent is like trying to switch him from the form he go to the office the office is no longer where he, he actually went and this is exactly what's happened Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, uh, thank you so much for coming watching videos to this channel. By the way, don't forget to share. Share to a friend. Share this kind of information such that we can help ourselves grow. We can help us uh, help our brothers that do exactly, may not know exactly what is happening. And um, put a comment in this comment section. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. I'm always, I'll always be positive to respond to you as soon as possible. By the way, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's always let you know it's Megs from the Mix Creation TV. See you again in the next video as we try to talk about some kind of important information. We try to discuss some of this information to try to help us ourselves grow, to try to help our brothers and sisters in one way. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.